Welcome back to PSC Tech Byte. Have you ever wondered how you can create a dashboard for Microsoft 365 in order to do proactive monitoring of service health? Well, thanks to Microsoft Graph, where there is almost an API for everything, there is also a set of APIs that you can use to get the health of services and you can filter by service. You can get the list of issues and you can filter by open or closed issues. You can see the history of all of the issues of your Microsoft 365 tenant and you can see the update messages to see what's going on with the updates in your tenant. And in order to do that, you can either use the application only permissions or the delegated permissions of a specific user, as long as your application registered in Azure Active Directory has the proper permissions granted. So, it is really useful and powerful whenever you want to do proactive monitoring or you want to create your own dashboard to monitor your Microsoft 365 tenant. So, like always, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how you can do that in practice using the Microsoft Graph. So, this is the main entry point of the documentation of Microsoft Graph about the service health uh, section. And here you can see there is a set of APIs to list or get specific service health. You can work with specific issues and update messages. In order to play with it, let me switch to the Graph Explorer and let me start showing you how to use this API. So let's say, for example, that you want to get the list of health status for all of the services. You can simply say admin slash service announcements slash health overviews and you will get the health status of all of the services in your Microsoft 365 tenant. And as you can see, there are plenty of services there. Just for the sake of completeness, we see that we have a service degradation in Exchange Online right now in my tenant. So I can, for example, apply a filter just to get uh, the health of Exchange, and I will get just that item. But actually, if I get the name of the service, I can also directly target that specific service providing its name and I can do that using this URL. I can eventually expand all of the issues for the service in order to see what's going on with my Exchange Online tenant. So I can say question mark expand issues and I can run it again. And here we can see the status, the health status of my Exchange Online together with all of the issues both the closed and resolved issues as well as the open ones. But we can also get the list of all of the issues at tenant level if we go for the slash admin slash service announcement slash issues and we will see the whole list of issues. We can also filter by status of the issue and we can get those issues which, has, which are not yet uh, resolved by using the question mark dollar filter and saying is resolved equal false. If I will run this query, we can see what the reasons are for having the service degradation for my Exchange Online service. And here we can see what's going on with my Exchange server. If I also want to dig into the upcoming new features and messages, we can go for the slash admin slash service announcement slash messages API and through this one I can get the whole list of announcements for my tenant and I can play with it, I can page it, as you can see we have the next link and so I can easily create a nice dashboard which I can provide to my end users even if they are not administrators of Microsoft 365 and I want to let them know what the status is of all of my services and what the health status of my services. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.